Um, Honorable Mulder. <clears throat> Honorable Deputy Speaker, Honorable Deputy President and Honorable Speaker of Parliament. If during the debate on the budget vote of Parliament, the Chief Whip of the ANC does not participate in the debate at all, and if the Chief Whip of the Opposition says what he had to say today about Parliament, then there is something clearly seriously wrong in Parliament. Now, let's say for argument's sake that 50% of the things said by the Chief Whip of the Opposition is not correct. Let's say for argument's sake. Then still, something is seriously wrong. We cannot ignore this, and Parliament will have to address this very, very urgently. Parliament does not belong to the ruling party or the majority. Parliament also does not belong to the opposition. Parliament belongs to all the people of South Africa, and all the voices of the people of South Africa should be heard in Parliament. Now, Honourable Deputy Speaker, both the Honourable Speaker as well as the De Acting Deputy Chief Whip of the ANC refer to the different court cases that Parliament and the Speaker were involved in during the last couple of months or year or so. I can assure you that no member of Parliament or no opposition party, for some or other reason, thinks it's a good idea just to go to court. We don't do that. That is the last resort when Parliament or the majority in Parliament frustrates what needs to be done. Can you imagine? 20 years after 1994 almost, and we could not convince the majority to debate a motion of no confidence in this House. It's unthinkable. We had to go to the court to try and get some form of relief that that basic thing can be done. The Honourable Deputy Chief Whip of the ANC says, where does all this leave this institution parliament? Yes, that's a very good question. We should go out there and ask the public what they think about this institution, not what we think. What do they think about this institution? Parliament is only a building. It's given life by the Constitution and the rules, but it's members and political parties that really matter and that give life to this institution. I'm sorry to say that I don't think we are fulfilling our constitutional imperatives and objectives what we should do. The Constitution clearly states in Section 42.1, that Parliament represents the people, that's correct, to ensure government of the people under the Constitution, that's correct, in doing so to, chair, uh, to choose the President, that's what we did. But one of the important things is to provide a national forum for public consideration of issues. We are failing in that. Yes, we've had one or two debates. But I said that last year and it still remains. On the program of Parliament where you'll find each and every day to be recognized internationally the day for this and the day for that. But those things that matter to the people out there, we are not debating. It's an uphill battle all the time for opposition parties to try and get those things on the agenda, and then we find it strange that Parliament seems to be not all that relevant to the public out there. Honourable Deputy Speaker, Parliament should always understand the importance and the role that it should play, and we are not doing so. I will specifically one point for and I know my time is I will not for all the time Zuid Afrikaanse politiedienst niet. Parlement is onder stel zekerlijk to be a national key point. But go through some of the control and checkpoints where those African police services are in charge. Quite often, those persons will not even look up when somebody goes through because they're busy on their cell phones. Or they're reading newspapers. Now, with all due respect, there's a new head of security being appointed recently. Clearly, with the control room, no communication should be by cell phone. There's no reason why members protecting this institution should be on their cell phones, not even looking up when members or the public or people go through. It doesn't make sense. It cannot be accepted, and we cannot support that. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Morgan.